I'm the clown of death, and I'm going to destroy you with lag. Just kidding, it's me, everybody. But can you really say that Trove hasn't been the laggiest ever it's ever been before? Hello, Jub Jub Ganda! Blah, 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 blah. What is up, dudes and dudes in the air? Now, my name's Seth, and we are back again for another Trove. <laughs> We're in U9 Air World because I need, to, I need to grind myself up some air dust because I'm actually experimenting with a couple new gems, everybody. I don't know if they're going to end up actually being like more powerful than the other gems that we ended up having, but uh, needless to say, we actually, like, I ended up grinding up my Neon Ninja is maxed out, my Candy Barbarian is maxed out, and not to mention that we also got, if you didn't already catch it, uh, the Gunslinger maxed out as well. I didn't actually include that in any of the videos, of course, but I've been grinding like crazy, as you can tell. Uh, that's crazy as far as I'm concerned. Lots of other people have been grinding up a lot more classes than me, though. They have a lot more uh, time and dedication to it, you know, because I've got to, I got to get to recording now, so I don't know if I'll be able to grind anymore. Um, but either way, you may or may not notice because it's been like a million zillion years since we've been on the Shadow Hunter. We're actually a little bit weaker right now. I'm I'm not even doing max damage with these gems uh, just because they're kind of like a little bit different and I'm kind of experimenting with them. I'll show you what they are in two seconds once we actually... Okay, it's going to take like five minutes to complete this stupid dungeon. But either way, uh, I swapped out my normal water gem was actually like 5k physical damage and then just max health so i ended up swapping it out for this one which is crit hit and crit damage and that's a pretty insane percentage i was able to max this gem out no problem very very easily and then because of that though this is a cubic curtain and the air gem that i was rocking was just physical damage and it was actually 10k physical damage so that's 15k physical damage knocked down four more crit hit and crit damage uh, because the air gem as you can see is more crit hit and only like 4,000 uh, physical damage of course it's not maxed out so I don't really know like I'm kind of experimenting to see whether or not crit damage is going to end up uh, like just raw crit damage is going to equal to more damage than having uh, the th raw physical damage right because technically speaking we're dumping like I don't I don't think it's gonna end up equaling out to be that much honestly because we did dump like 15k uh, physical damage for the sake of what let's get out of here by the way this is boring for the sake of um, like just a hundred a hundred percent more uh, more uh, crit damage and like maybe when this gem is maxed out 5k physical so that means we drop 10k physical raw damage for 114k crit damage and that's where i kind of want to experiment with it and see what ends up happening because you know we're we're already the, pretty much the same pr that we were two seconds ago like on our other uh with our other gems but i'm surprised to see that crit damage is not nearly as important as just having raw damage of like either magic or physical right because right now i mean we're rocking uh, 68k physical we were at about like 80k but our crit hit like our crit chance is actually at 86.8 and our crit damage is at 987.6 so that's insane to think that is that much but i'm noticing that so far it's actually not as good uh, as having the other gem which i personally consider to be garbage which ended up having just like raw damage yes but it had like tons of health and it was like really this is gonna equal to about the exact same thing but oh we actually leveled it up that's insane rng right there uh but either way i completely almost forgot before we end up getting going a little bit more huge shout out to chronozilla valor warrior and x bear frost because thanks to them we're gonna be able to give away zero line wings soul fire wings arcanium ugly wings the revenant warhorse spiky warhorse i call them or mastery pinata so if you want any of them you're gonna have to elbow the like button for me or just elbow your uh keyboard until you end up accidentally hitting the like button <laughs> <laughs> uh, but either way, you're going to have to do that for me. Be subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username, at which point Scarlet the Spire will let the winner know that you've ended up winning a prize. I want to point that out and kind of stress that because lots of people are constantly asking like, dude, do I actually get, did I win a prize? Do I actually get notified? And it's like, yeah, like I've said, you 
you do. And before we end up calling it for today, I know it's a shorter episode, but Sam Poops guy gets some busy, uh, I gotta get to work. I ended up changing a little bit of things here with my babe, which is Team Ploxel, Team Ploxel 1. Uh, the trophy room was a little bit too small. I ended up having a bunch more trophies that I needed to get rid of, so I ended up just making uh, this hallway. The bulldozer sucks, by the way. Like, seriously, I'm so glad I didn't actually buy it with real money. I just ended up having a bunch of extra credits and got it because, seriously, like, it's so laggy. I can't even believe that they're trying to sell this game right now and try to move it onto console when the servers are, like, the worst they've ever been. Like, I, I really don't even know what's going on, but it's so laggy. You go into an adventure world and you'll get, like, 400 ping average like that's insane even in like while i'm building this tunnel it's like you're walking along you're walking along with the bulldozer settling whoop you actually teleport upwards and everybody around you can actually see all of the blocks that you just destroyed reappearing like i thought they got rid of block lag you know but either way we've got a tunnel that goes up over here to the area that rage kill ended up making a million zillion years ago which ends up having good rng uh during the holidays during december and stuff like that does it really, though? I don't know. And then this kind of just continues onward uh, and eventually goes out of the biome. And uh, over in that direction as well, just fun fact, is actually the CS office map, which is right over there. There it is. Yeah. We got lots of crazy cool builds in this club, though, lately. Uh, not to mention, ooh, I got I to gotta show you all that, too. I got to show you all that, too. Uh, Chronozilla ended up meticulously making... Come on, dude. Seriously? Meticulously making the shadow cut. Okay. Chunk errors in my own club world. <sighs> let's just, let's sit back and relax. Let's see in real time just how long this stupid loading screen actually takes. Like, what? what is going on? What are they all doing? Are they downloading stuff? Or like, come on, what is this? Okay, so anyways, doesn't look like we're going to get to actually check it out today, folks. But it's actually the Shadow Coliseum. Oh, there it is. Ah, stupid servers. Uh, the Shadow Coliseum, which they did end up talking about just on the side, by the way. The devs did end up talking about how they are going to uh, kind of upgrade and kind of fix the servers a little bit. But, I mean, who are they kidding? Upgrade the servers back to how they used to be, which was a little bit less laggy than this. Like, I personally think that a lot of the lag that's been going on lately... Hello, Mr. Tentacles. What are you doing here, you freak? Kill me. No, later. I think that a lot of the lag has to do with the fact that they don't clear the cache of this game, you know? Like, there's so many dead accounts, so many dead club worlds, and all of that is just building up and taking all the more resources and memory in this game, more so than the devs seem to realize. At least that's what I think. I'm, I'm not a developer on this game, so honestly, who knows? But seriously, dude, like, it's getting insane, and the fact that they're trying to, like, push this game onto consoles, like, I really hope that the console actually has better servers than this. Otherwise, hashtag I can't wait for this on console and by the way just because we're getting very very close to episode 400 probably gonna end up doing um uh, like a club world tour just of Team Pixel kind of clue you all in because I know there's a lot of new faces going on uh, with the channel and stuff like that. We only got a couple more days of special like over the top giveaways. Of course we do, are still going to be giving things away periodically throughout the series but not nearly as crazy as we have been for this whole Trove one year thing right um, but anyway we're going to do a club world tour and uh, I'm probably going to end up putting another video out that's going to ask all of you and I I don't want this to sound like I'm just pushing my Twitter, but it's a little bit easier for me to actually like see uh, questions and stuff like that. I'm gonna do probably if we can a Q&A once we get to uh, 400 episodes. So if you want, you can start asking me questions on the Twitter and I will end up uh, writing those down and kind of collecting a bunch of information and stuff like that. I figure we may as well start now rather than later. But if you don't have a Twitter account, don't worry. You can just leave a comment question down below and uh, actually no, you can't. Because <laughs> there's going to be so many of you that are going to be uh, leaving comments for the prizes. That's the biggest reason why I can't filter through them. So yeah, I guess rip. You're going to have to get a Twitter if you want to actually leave a question that I will answer in episode 400. But until then, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Sign and stay epic. Bye.